Hi, I'm Damien Josephsberg from Equip, and today we're going to be talking about a dynamic movement study or thermal growth monitoring. First of all, thermal growth monitoring is a bit of a misnomer because it only ascribes machine movement to thermal growth. And actually, a lot of thermal growth, or what's thought to be thermal growth, is due to torsional movement of machine and also piping strain. So, the two most common things that we want to perform a dynamic movement study on are a boiler feed pump and a gas turbine. Now, there are a few traditional methods that we use instead of conducting a dynamic movement study. One of those is a hot alignment check. Now, what a high alignment check is, is we'll shut the machine down, put all of our alignment equipment on as quickly as possible after we lock out and tag out the machine, and take a set of readings. In the time that we do this, we've lost all of the torsional movement and some of the thermal growth that has occurred in the machine. So it's better than doing nothing, but it's not the best way to figure out where the machine has moved. The next thing that we can do is a theoretical or TLC calculation. What a TLC calculation does is we take the change in temperature between the hot and the cold, we'll take the distance between the center of the machine shaft and the shim plane of the machine and the material constant. We multiply these together and we'll figure out theoretically what the thermal growth is of the machine at the shaft. The third thing that we do is a specification from the OEM. Now, the specification that's given to you by the OEM is on their machine, in their facility, under their operating conditions, and in their environment, which is going to be different than your machine, in your environment, under your piping geometry, and your specifications. So it's better than doing nothing, but it's not the best thing we can do. So. The best way to figure out what the actual dynamic movement of your machine is, is to actually measure it. And the, there's a few ways that we're able to do this. But the best way is to do an online monitoring. And the way that we do this is by actually hooking up a laser and a target to monitor the movement of your machine. By doing this, we're able to get the horizontal offset, horizontal angle, vertical offset, and vertical angle that happens across the coupling of your machine. We can do this at each one of the elements of your machine. Another way that we're able to do this is by taking snapshot readings in the cold and the hot state of your machine. It's not as good as taking the real-time measurements, but we'll actually be measuring the dynamic movement of your machine. Thank you for joining me for this presentation. I'm Damien Josephsberg from Equip, and I'll see you again next time.